Hello, good day everyone. This is my old Elite Pad uh, Windows tablet. Uh, I was or I have installed it uh, Windows 10 on this tablet, and now I wanna show you how to make micro USB installation. I mean micro USB installer in this uh, micro USB and I use this modem to make a micro USB installation Windows installer I mean <coughs> and it has micro hub like like that and I have to insert this micro USB in here so I can make a micro USB installer for Windows 10 on my uh, old Windows tablet okay let's sew together hello good day everybody now I will show you how to make a micro USB installer for Windows 2 on uh, HP edit pad old the old windows tablet with touchscreen okay uh, we need drivers or we need drivers and ISO master ISO file I means like that windows 10 32 uh, bit and then we need and light setup and then we need uh, to Rufus and <coughs> I have installed Antelite version, free version, like this, Antelite. Wait a moment, okay. Uh, this is a free version. It's enough for make a new additional drivers on ISO file. This is a free version, limited and non-commercial. Okay. Uh, first way or first thing, we have to copy all of files in the uh, ISO installation file to to new folder like this. We have to mount here moon and then uh, copy all of them copy here as so copy okay oh no no copy control C and then we go to folder folder Go here. <clears throat> okay, here. We make a new folder, and I name it and I give name ISO. No, no, like this ISO. Okay, and then paste. Wait a moment. You can use your ISO file from your CD, Windows CD installation or installer, or you can get uh, ISO files for installer uh, Windows 10 from um, official website. And we have to unmount it first. Click, right click, and eject. And we go to anti light, and here we add a Windows image to the list. Choose image directory here, and then 
ISO file we have copy here ISO and then select folder there are many uh, Windows files installations the first Windows 10 Pro versi blah 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 and then uh, put setup put dot wim and we have to add drivers here and here so both here and here we have to add drivers before a driver we have a uh, load first click here and then click load and wait for a moment click here and then load okay and we will wait for uh, several minutes sometimes it needs uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes okay we will wait first Okay, finish, and we go to <coughs> here, drivers, click, and we we will add some drivers, drivers file or directory containing drivers here, and we go to uh, here drivers, okay first folder and we have or we will add some drivers like BIOS, new BIOS and Bluetooth drivers, cut reader, touch screen and touch HD driver external. This is uh, them uh, we we will add them into uh, ISO installations windows. Okay, back go back and click drivers and select folder error and warnings drivers integration this uh, pop-up uh, is not matter so we click OK <clears throat> and then uh, this drivers will at auto automatically on ISO files will uh, by applying uh, this one. Okay, click apply, <coughs> and then here it will show uh, like this. Integrate drivers. Twenty six drivers will be installed on new ISO files. Okay, and then. We go to process here, click and click yes. Usually it needs several minutes. It depends on your PC. And then save change to the to the image. Presentations have to so like this: zero percent, one percent, two percent, up to one hundred percent. Okay, why did? Okay, 26 drivers was, uh, were integrated successfully and then 
we go to source here and we will add task screen driver on put our setup put dot wim here is number two number one and number two and uh, I use number two and then load first click here load it and wait again for a moment And okay, after Microsoft Windows setup was loaded correctly, then we go to drivers again here, click here, and click here, add for adding new drivers, directory containing drivers, and then we go to drivers folder, we click, and then we choose task screen drivers for Elite Path. Here and select folder and a play and then here we'll integrate one driver I mean a uh, touch screen driver for Elipad and then process click here yes integration integration is done and then save change to the image is uh, run okay it depends on your PC specification Now, the second integration drivers on Windows uh, setup installation is finished successful. And then we go to source again and we click here and here, click here, and then create ISO. Click here, this folder, and then create ISO here. And we go to new folder. I choose make, and here we have uh, make new folder here for new ISO files. New ISO. Okay. Click enter, and then open. And we have renamed. We have to rename it. Mm, Windows 10 32 bit 32 bit for HP Elite G1. Okay and then save here save label windows 10 32 bit for hp elite We will wait until it creates a new ISO file. Okay, process is finished and 
we can close it directly here close and we go to folder mm, here folder Make micro SD card okay new ISO is here the uh, new ISO was created was created okay Windows 10 32 bit for HP Elite Pad G1 ISO okay so we can use this ISO for make a new installer in micro SD with um, micro SD card and then we have next uh, we have go to the next uh, the next uh, tutorial